Hey, it's Marcus from Holosuite, helping experimental artists make more, better music. So in my previous video, one of the techniques I mentioned to get more consistency across your tracks when you're working on an EP or an album was to put all of your tracks in one giant project so that you were able to mix them at the same time and then compare them back and forth between them, make it much easier to get that sound that you want across the whole release. So today I'm here to share with you a template that I've made of that giant project. Now this is based in Ableton Live uh, because that's what I generally use, but uh, I can make these for other doors as well if there's enough interest. So to grab this template, check the link in the description below. And if you like this template, but you want this for another door, please leave it in the comments. And if I get enough interest, I will make you uh, the same template for your door but hopefully it's not super complex. You may just be able to port over these ideas into your door of choice. So the main purpose of this template is to be able to put all of your tracks in an easy to see way, all in one giant project. Then each of the tracks will have each of its stems lined up below it so that you can mix them as one section of your whole release and then you'll be able to listen back and forth between your tracks as you're going to get that consistent sound that you're looking for. And then when you're done, you can just export each one of those tracks one by one from that project, and they'll be ready to go as pre-masters. And the idea is that by the time you will have finished this, that you will have gotten your tracks to 90% of where it needs to go for the mastering phase, whether you're doing it yourself or whether you're getting someone to do it for you, um, you're gonna make that job much easier. So without further ado, let's get into the template. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is our pre-work. So I've opened up a track that I wanna put into my album and I've laid everything out the way that I want it. Um, I've done a little bit of EQing. So if you look here, you can see at the bottom, I've cut a little bit of bass out of this one. This one's a little bit more aggressive. Um, so I've done all the basic stuff I can do I've gone to my master bus and I've turned off everything because we don't want any of that influencing our track later on because that can be done at our mixing phase when we get to the end. So before we bounce down, there's a couple of last things we want to double check. We want to make sure that there aren't any extra tracks that we don't need in our project because they're going to get bounced down too. So pull them out if you need to. Make sure everything's named in a way that you'll understand when you drag them into the next project. Uh, especially if everything looks kind of similar in the waveform, as you can see here. If I, I need to make sure I name all these uh, individual parts that are in blue different names, or I'm going to have real trouble working out what's what when I'm pulling everything back in together later. So everything's ready to go. I'm now going to bounce it down. And I'm going to use the all individual tracks to give me all the stems that I need. Okay, I've got all my stems ready and I'm just going to get rid of any of the files that I don't need. So waveform audio, I'm gonna get rid of some of my group tracks cause I don't need those. And then I should be ready to drag these into my big project. So let's have a look at the template. So I've put in 10 songs and each song has 10 tracks and so multi-tracks inside. Now I've grouped the multi-tracks inside the main song group. And the reason I've done this is because then we can have a mix bus for each song. And I've built a little template that I've just called basic mix rack that has an EQ, a compressor, and a utility plugin that um, allows you to raise the overall gain or mess around with the stereo width mono things. Um, that's just uh, there so that I have something that everything, every track's gonna have. And I've set that as the default preset, which you can do over here. And so each track has its own version of that and you can just turn those on and off as you need. The basic idea of the template is that you switch over to arrangement view and you can see here I've left some markers just at random times to indicate where your songs will go. And we're going to drop each song down the arrangement view into its own lane. And then we can mix each track one by one. 
This makes it pretty easy to move our tracks back and forward. So if I want to move this track over to song, to the song three spot, I can just drag the whole song over at once. And then the idea is as you add each track, you just move over your little line here so that it lines up with the start of each track so that you've got some reference point. And then I've just put one at the end of the album here. So it's pretty basic. I haven't put anything on the master bus. I haven't put anything in the returns. Okay, so I've dropped all my stems into my template here under song one. Um, I've just dragged them into the same track for the moment, but the plan is to get them each one onto each one of these tracks. Now I've got about 20 tracks and my template only has about 10, so I'm just gonna duplicate that um, so that I can add all these tracks over. All right, and now that's done, all I have to do is carry those tracks all over onto the arrangement view. And everything should be all nice and lined up. And then once that's all done, I can close this away. <coughs> if I want to start adding more tracks, and I can do that for all the rest of my tracks. And then every time you add a new track, just move this locator so that's at the start of the track and you can leave yourself a bit of a gap at the end. So here's an example of one I did for my last album uh, where you can see that I've laid everything out across the timeline um, and I've even done some arranging and you can see in this one here it's kind of I've moved things around a little bit. But the important thing to note is that everything's staggered all the way across the album so everything should be in the timeline after the previous track. So when you're moving things, don't forget to move them up and down the timeline. If you want to switch your tracks around, just make sure that they, you move them back into their place into the timeline. And an important note, and the reason why it's worth grouping all these tracks together and having their own special group set up, is that it means that you can mute the tracks that you're not mixing at the time and just work and save all that CPU so that it only affects the track that you're working on. And then if you do need to flick back and forth, let's say that you want to check this mix in the blue track here against the uh, orange track here. All I need to do is just unmute that specific one and then I can flick back and forth between them pretty quickly. And finally, when we're going to export our tracks, all we need to do is select the name of the group and then we can bounce it out by group. So in this case, I've selected song one Make sure that your render length is correct. Um, and just some other general recommendations would be to use 48 kilohertz, 24 bit, and no dither. And you can choose whatever file format you want. And then all you have to do is export. All right, so that's it. Um, I hope that this was helpful for you. Once again, if you wanna grab that template, the link is in the description below. And I have a lot of other free resources available on my website. There's a link in the description there too, so please go check them out if you're interested. Once again, if you really like this template but you need it for another door, please leave a comment, and if I get enough interest, I will make a template for your door. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Your support will be what helps me to keep making these kinds of resources. And until next time, keep making music. Cheers!